Yo, Peric, it's time. It's 6.35. Dude, I'm just getting a little meditation in. Let's go! Oh, yeah, boys. Welcome to Eastern Canada. A little nippy on you. Let me get my sweatshirt on. Put some socks on. It's a good way to wake up. Andrew Walker and myself are taking on six amazing anglers across North America. Let's go! This is a game of inches. Seven species, five days, deteriorating ice. Oh, big fish coming in, huge fish. Oh, nice. Dude. Oh, yes! That fish will get you going. You can't win a five-day turn on day one. But you is for sure as hell can lose it, and we didn't do that. I might have set too early. Oh, man, that's sickening. Yes! 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 And this is Game of Inches. We decided to take on the largest species first, just in anticipation that it could be our biggest point. And uh, Andrew's been musky fishing for his whole life, and he's got some pretty big fish that have come out of this river here. So I'm pretty excited to be a part of it. One cool thing to note in Quebec is we are allowed 10 lines per person, so we're gonna take advantage of that, set up a bunch of rods with some quick strike rigs, as well as a bunch of flags, um, and take advantage of the, the 20 lines. Yeah, max lines. How long have you been fishing out here for? Uh, I've been living here now 14 years and fishing muskie on the ice for 10 years, so got it pretty dialed. And we've had a lot of big fish in the last week, so it's prime time to get a giant right now. I like our odds out here, and I'm pretty excited. How many clients jump in the water before going muskie fishing? That's the first one. There's going to be a lot of firsts on this episode and a lot of firsts in this series. And uh, our competition this week is going to be Josh McFadden and Jay Siemens. We've got Clayton Chick and Adam Crawford. We've got the Conrad brothers. Adam and Sean, and we have Joe Cooper and Dave Winters, and then my least favorite team. I love Mark, but uh, we have Mark and Aaron at the bottom of the list, and hopefully at the bottom of the leaderboard after five days. But this is day one. I'm excited, and uh, yeah, it just feels good to be out here in shorts. It's it's been a rough winter. So we're using whole mackerel, big and mediums, but those are the big guys. Kind of what most people would be happy with on the ice catching, but. Uh, yeah, 16 to 18 inch baits. That's gonna be the deal today. And then hopefully we get a really early fish and get out of here fast. So we take out about the desired length. We're in six feet of water. We're gonna put maybe four feet under the ice here. Pull our flag down a bit, tuck it. I'm just hooking my bait kinda close to the business end and the other one close to the other business end, I guess. Down the hole. Now because we have a 10 inch hole, we're using just like a stick to help uh, stop that disc from getting ripped down. Waiting for that baby to go up. So as soon as the fish hits that indication, Alex is gonna get his first muskie on the ice. Let's get these lines set. I've composed my breath, guys, and we've officially got some rods, some lines in the water. We are on time. We've got a full 30 minutes before sunrise, which happened to be 6.35 this morning, and a full 30 minutes after sunrise. The goal is to maximize our time, to not be traveling, but also to make sure we get all seven points. Five days, seven points. We've got e-socks, we've got walleye, we've got lake trout, we've got stock trout, we've got whitefish, we've got burbot, and we've got walleye. Stay tuned, seven species, five days, 13 and a half hours of fishing every single day. And this is Game of Inches. Fish, fish, fish. Jesus, sorry. Fish on. Point, 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 point. I need the pump for it. Run for it! Micro dinner bell. 
micro perch. Should we count the stripes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there a minimum size limit? No. Who knows? We're starting. Here we go. Okay. Here's the tail. Oh, oh, we can get that thing to go to six. Come on. Oh, we gotta bring him down a bit. Oh, that's six. Maybe not. Oh. Hold on, hold on. We gotta get him perfectly straight. We can't give him six. We can't give him it. I want to give him six, but we can't. It's five and three quarters. He can't, he's got to touch the six. Let's see, can we get him to touch the six? Oh, it's so close. It's just not gonna do it. We're fair players in this, okay? We're gonna count that as a five and three quarter inch perch, or in category wise, a five and three quarter inch panfish. Okay, I'm inside the house. We've got 15 rods or 15 tip ups that have been rigged up by Andrew outside. Andrew Walker from Cast and Conquer, great name and uh, He's got his own YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe below to that. And he's my partner this week. This is the first time I've ever fished with him. He's been working with Frostbite for this season now, and it's been great to have him along to show kind of big muskies through the ice and the Quebec area, which doesn't get a huge shining on. This is where Andrew is located, and it's my first time in these parts of the world. I like it out here. I really like perch. This is like all about numbers, too. This is about time. We got lots going on. Where else was I going with? Ooh, there's a nice fish, 14 feet away oh here we go here we go guys another perch come on come on this could be big this could be big this could be huge get the rod over the hole oh my goodness oh all over it all over it all over it sleight of hand sleight of hand perk and i choked should i just sit here and watch tiktok videos like ice fishing is just painful sometimes we're 20 minutes into a five-day competition and I'm like, ice fishing is painful. Over the next couple days, it's gonna be a shared effort because we're gonna be exploring some new waters and trying to cross up some species that we both haven't really targeted. But today is the day of muskies and muskies is what Andrew guides for primarily. Like this is his species. This is one of the reasons why I'm out here. It's, it's a big hype day. Today is day one of the, a big hype day. Andy, are you caught the first fish? Yeah. Hey, you got the first fish of the tournament. Is, is, is there's no limit on anything? No size limit at all, no minimum. There it is, that's it. They, if, if everybody blanks, we win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fish, fish, fish. That was too fast. Uh, no. We don't, we don't want to go from five and a half to six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't it. Let's say that. We're gonna do biggest quarter inch. Is it quarter inch? Yeah. That's a perch, it's like game winner, dude. That's a that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a big perch! Maybe! Upgrade. Oh, yes! Yeah. Eight and three quarter. Eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. There we go. Raper. We needed that. Yeah, we that can was, go home now. That was a good perch. Parrick's disappeared, guys. He had an emergency poo break that he had to go take at the island. This is just the worst. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the truck. I might shit my pants. Oh jeez, oh jeez. A couple minutes ago I woke up from a nap and just everything in my bowel system was just red flagging. It just hit me so hard. And I, I emergency packed back and I went to the truck. I legit obliterated the people's parking lots where our car is. So I'm sorry if anybody saw, somebody saw me, I guarantee it. Cause it was just right out in the open, pooping. People on the highway could see me. It was a scene. And I was just making all sorts of noises, growling, grunting, 
just trying to get it out of me, trying to get the Timmy's from yesterday out of me. It finally crawled out of my rectum, and man, do I feel better. It's early. That's what's great about where we're fishing. It's early. This is, we got major minors, moon phases rising above the minor suns, and when that happens, muskies go crazy. The, the guy was trying to talk to me. He's like, Dory? Dory? You guys going to the... I mean, he started taking French, and he, he just kept saying, are you going after Dory? And I'm like, Dory. bro, I'm like I don't speak French. And he continued to say Dory. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Are you saying musky? And he's like, yes, musky. <laughs> pickled garlic, guys. You're not fishing if you're not eating pickled garlic. <laughs> These pliers have been... Uh, a lot of places. That's the goods though. Homemade. My dad grew these. These will bring the fish. One more. I think there might be a flag. Yeah, yeah. If it's if it's out of the clip, yeah. it's for sure a fish. Okay. There's still a chance that the wind might have flipped it, but if it's not in the clip, I'm positive it's a fish then. I like this. I like it this. No, it's a fish. Okay. Yeah. On there too. Here, let's undo this if we can. Oh, we got the clips on this. Oh, I like this rod too. Oh, oh he's on there. Just close the bale and set. Set? Oh, let me pull some drag. Yep, set it, set it. You got him? No. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling, he's on. Keep reeling. Uh, this is all screwed up. Okay, I got him here. This is a big fish, guys. It's not that big, but it's a really nice musky. You want to get hit by hand here? Come get this. Yeah, yeah, you, you got it. Land it. Land the fish. Land the fish. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> We got it, bud! We got the point! It's not a giant, but it's a really good fish. A little, little gong show on the... Uh, yes! On the rod! I did, yeah. That's why I said, oh, we should untie it, because I knew it was on the handle. What do you think, 40? 40, yeah, 43 maybe? Like, that's the... People have a hard time competing with pike, just yeah. that size. Yeah. And we're, we're still gonna wait for a longer, a bigger one. Yeah, for sure. But, like, we got the point now. One of the pliers, pop that, that one hook out you can see, cut it right above the blade. And I'll try one more time with the pliers after. Should I cut the hook shape? I, or the mono. Just mono. Yeah. Well, there we go, guys. First fish of Game of Inches, and that's a beauty. Hopefully, it's gonna go 40. I'm gonna put it on the board. Take your hand right out of the gill. Touching 45, 45 and a quarter. 45 and a quarter. Wow, yep. that is bigger than I thought. Okay, let's just release this fish right yep. away. One last look at her. Yes. Hold her, you got her. She'll kick off really good. She'll keep tell you when. Fish. Just keep holding it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, man. All right, spotted that flag, came out here, had a little issue with the our, our lines. We didn't want to lose the reel, so we tie a lead line from the reel to the ice just in case the board would have fallen. And this lead line here got stuck in the line as I was reeling. Luckily, Andrew was right there to kind of keep tension on that fish. It was hooked very, very well, so we were able to get the hooks out, get the fish measured, and back in the water. So there we go. First one. First one. Yes. But this is the thing now. Do we call that? and say that is our that's our point and we go and try something else for the afternoon. I say we give it till major 
yeah, which is like call. two, three o'clock, and then at three, if we, if we see it slow, we can leave. Yeah, like that's a that's a good point, but we can definitely upgrade from that. And to like the people at home, what would you like? What is a major, and why is it so important? So the major and the minor is like moon periods, where uh, it's like a moon rise or a moon set, and normally like everybody talks about sunrise and sunset and how important that is for certain species, but muskies really go on the moon so like a moon rise you might not be able to see on a cloudy day like today might be in the middle of the day everybody thinks like midday tough times but no you get that right major or minor at the right time of day and we've seen it time after time like fish feed during majors and minors so we're gonna wait till major and minor for sure and uh, hopefully we can get a big one to show up I think that one was pretty big <laughs> okay nice nice hey now we got 53 and three quarter inch. Yeah. We got 53 now with our perch. So they're gonna think that we have like a 50. Yeah. That's that's the fish. I mean, we were getting a bit concerned. I wasn't concerned, but Andrew was sweating a lot. And now that we're able to cross that off the list, it's a good start. We, we need momentum. This is all about momentum and being able to keep on trucking. And day one, our plan was to get a muskie, and we got it done. If we get a bigger one, I'll live release it in here. Swim down with her, make sure she gets down. All right, guys, so we had to cut the hooks on that, uh, one hook on that fish. So we're putting a new rig on here, new bait. We're gonna put a different bait on, they're unthawed now. We got some big Cisco's. So instead of a herring, we're gonna try these big, juicy, oily Cisco's. I think the muskie's gonna love them. It's so small. That's not an upgrade. No. Oh, big blob. Fish on. Good too. What is that? What is this, What do you got? See a big perch, big crappie? I don't know, it's big. Walleye. A walleye, nice walleye. Yes! yes! <laughs> Dude, that's a great walleye to start. We were not expecting this fish. Ooh! Micro dinner bell popped right out. Yes! I don't think we're gonna want this for our final point, but I'm very first lucky to day, catch this fish. First day, it's, it's a great one to add to our interest. Now we've got three of the seven species crossed off and 19 and a half. Yep. 19 and a half. 19 and a half inch walleye, my first walleye of the competition and our third species to land it off. We've got this, this breading called catch and cook and I think we wanna eat some fish tacos tonight. So we're not gonna let this beautiful walleye go to waste. And uh, that being said, let's break some necks. food this is snack break number 45 for me today and it's only two o'clock there's gonna be a lot of snacks on this trip stay tuned we'll get close and comfortable with you guys we are just getting started here as a team and uh, I think we're doing good. We've got three of the seven categories checked off. Day one, we have 73.25 total inches at the moment and we have until 7.30 to fish. So we're gonna go and fish for crappies. Yep, big crappies hopefully. Big crappies and 14 inches is what we're looking for. Yeah, we did well during the pre-fish. We had a 13 and a half and like lots of fish were there but we just ended up hitting it like midday but the peak time is in the morning and the afternoon, so we should hit it perfectly to get there today. That's the plan. Here we go. Let's go! 
It's a game of inches. It's a game of inches. It's a game of inches. Yes! I'm, I'm, I'm sad. This is definitely my favorite species out of the list. Fishing for muskies through the ice has always been a bucket list for me. It was a gong show. Our only bite of the day, our only flag, and we made it happen. I can't imagine if it was day one and we didn't get that fish, we would just be spiraling right now. But instead, we're in a great mood, and we're on to greener pastures. Greener pastures, right? Greener pastures. All day? No, yeah. The cows don't hang around and eat the yellow grass all day. The name of the game is speed right now. We've got all the lines in. We're doing this very effectively. We're gonna to get to the truck. The truck is packed with food. I'm gonna eat an apple. We're not gonna stop at Swift Chalet or at Tim Tim's or... What, no Tim Tim's? No, maybe Tim Tim's. Okay, maybe Tim Tim's. It's 3.55. That means we have a total of four hours, three and a half, three and a half hours, I was told. Also, I think that this series, as much as there's somebody behind the camera, Darian Savage is his name, actually. He's gonna be helping make these videos possible, and we kinda of wanna include Darian in this too. So, you include as much as you want of yourself, but for right now, he's gonna be the mystery man behind the camera. Maybe on last day, we- Maybe a face reveal in the last video. <laughs> if you guys want a face reveal on the last video, comment below, but until then, he's the mysterious man behind the camera. We gotta walk ahead of us. We're Let's off. get it. A little bit of rain arrive it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting here we've got rain we've got conditions we're not used to and uh i realized this morning i put my pants inside out <laughs> Didn't even notice. might just do that for the rest of the derbies how good this is going okay Let's no time there. to talk yep i gotta pee though <laughs> deteriorating ice all right for this guys we have no time. AP Aston plays by his own rules. We done did it. Switched it up to the eight inch hole. We're not fishing after big predatory fish anymore. We are after the panfish category. Right now we have an eight and a half inch perch and we've decided to switch it up and go after some crappies, more specifically black crappies. My partner is kind of going down the line of holes I just drilled, checking them out, seeing if there's any fish in there. We're gonna get set up and see if we can find some. Black crappie can get as big as 18 inches, but we'll be happy with a 14 inch crappie, 13 inch crappie, maybe a 10 inch crappie, then 11, then a 12, then a 13. We want a crappie that's big and that's what we're after. Here we go, mega fish. Crappie, not the size. Crappie, not the size. Oh no, that was a good one, almost a good one. Come on. I just oh. saw two big ones going from me to you. No, no. <laughs> that was it. No. Come back, oh, he's coming back. Got him. Yes. That's a good fish. Crappie. Big one? Yo! Oh, let's go! Don't lose him down that hole. 
<laughs> Dude, that is a giant. That's a good fish. Just snapped the micro. That's a 12. I'm catching this on Jay's collar. This makes me aggravated. That is a 12. 12er. Game of inches. Ow. Ow. Every inch counts. 12. 12 all day. Yep, 12. 12 inches. Yes! I'll give it a dunk. Four inches, just like that. All right, guys. This fish is bleeding pretty bad. So instead of risking it dying and not surviving, we're just gonna give it a quick savagely. And just, yeah. So we kept that one. The reason why we kept it is it was bleeding. Um, I'm, I've released some fish in the past that had some bleeding and I'd rather just eat them too. And we've got one walleye from earlier. So one more crappie and we should be good. Anything over 12 inches though, probably released. That fish was 12 on the dot. So here we go. Crappie, too small. Little guy. It's not what we need. That's not what Alex's 12 inches, that's for sure. Go tell your buds. There's some big marks though. <laughs> yes! Big one? Big one. Really big? Belly big. Yes! On my phone! Oh my <laughs> on my phone! <laughs> That's a big one, dude. That's a 14 all day. That hits 14. Mouth closed. Yeah. Can we get a quarter inch? I don't think so. All right. Eric, you're on fire, bud. <laughs> well, guys, this is my biggest crappie of the year and a beautiful one to say the least. 14 inches on the dot. Tried to get her to go 14 and a quarter, but just wouldn't go. Slamming on the micro dinner bell. I think I need to slow down. I was on my phone just jigging in one spot. Solo mark came through. And when they're solo in this big. He was high? Oh yeah. Yeah. High solo. There's a bunch of fish on the bottom. They're all really small. But then, you know. You see them halfway up. And then you're like, okay. Yeah, blobs. This is what we're talking about. Yes. We like those inches. And uh, yeah. That's a giant. Let's let her go. Yeah. <laughs> that fish will get you going. Yeah. I don't think we need to keep too many more after this one. That one's 12. Yeah, 12. We got a musky, walleye, crappie. And the crappie and the musky point are solid. Guess I need to get the phone out again. That's the only good luck charm. <laughs> it's that radiation. It pours through my soul right through to the ground. There's that 12 incher guys, really nice fish. The bite's actually really on and we got the best half an hour coming. So we're gonna get this guy back. Peace. Yes. Ooh. I know. I got, I got a really good shot of pear right now. Bluegill for days, son. Oh, this fish is coming in. Same. Yep.
that musky point. As you can see here, we've got, we've got a school of musky. We have four minutes left. I gotta get this school fired up. Oh, this one looks like it could commit. It committed. It committed. Oh, oh, oh! Rock fast point. Hey, Jay, we might have as many uh, points as you do here today so far. We got the same amount of points as Jay. How many species? Six? Yeah. We have three. Six? I think we have all of them now. All of them? Yeah. 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 I don't, I think it's like 12 and a half. We've got four minutes left. Don't think it's gonna help. 12 and three quarters, beautiful fish. It's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Would you rate my singing a 10 out of 10? Yeah, 11. 11. Wow, didn't even give you that choice. My mom told me I sound like Beyonce. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. You were looking kind of dumb with a finger and an L on the shape of an L on her forehead. The world stop coming and they don't stop coming. What is wrong with this man? He's lost it. That's it, time's up. Time is up, boys. I'll tell you this, you can't win a five day tournament on day one, but you as for sure as hell can lose it, and we didn't do that. Do you agree with that? I agree. We positioned ourselves to take control of the leaderboard. What time is it, Andrew? 12.10, almost arrived. We're arrived. Destination two. Crazy rough back roads to get in here, but we're here, ready to slay Northern Ontario monsters. Right? Monsters. 